Okay, so this is a day that I'm sure you've been waiting for for a long time, having no and pay as long as you have. But now that it's here, what are just some things you're thinking about being that you watched him grow up to where he is now? Uh, I'm thinking about uh, the dedication of his family, the hard work that I watched him put in over the years, um, the selflessness uh, that he displayed out here, um, always helping, uh, giving back, and just listening to the coaches over the years. Very proud. What are some of your earliest memories of uh, Tamir? When he got about on a 12, on 11, 12 year old team and started playing tight end. Before that, Tamir was always a rapper. I mean, he was bigger than the other kids. Just size wise and height wise. So he always played tackle. He's a little smiley, bubbly, happy little kid. <laughs> but he was still the way he is now. Listening, always bright eyed, bushy tails. And really close with his, uh, his, his cousin slash brother, Junior. You know what I mean? And coming up over the years, Man, he just kind of slimmed out. He slimmed out and he turned into a skill position player. Mm -hmm. And from there, we just started working on and getting his footwork and stuff together. And he just got better and better. By the time he got to me on the 13 and 14 year old team, he was ready to go. We just honed him and put him in safety so he could just patrol the field for us. And it worked out. We won the championship. So, what were the specific age levels that you coached him at? I coached him at 13 and 14 for two years. Okay, and when did you realize that he was a player that was capable of being what he is now, which is a top recruit in the state, going to Penn State and all that, so? Um, his willingness to not, he, he played, see, it was the way he played defense. He played defense with an offensive mindset, meaning that how kids have the energy and want to score a touchdown and families want to see him score a touchdown. He took that much pride in making tackles and getting interceptions and knocking down passes. And when you got a kid that feels like that at his size, him playing safety, teams will look and just decide not to throw the ball. And he was playing sideline to sideline then. So it, it, the different drills that we did to get him to see the whole field, once he learned that, it was lights out. We were shaking our heads like, this could be something. Yeah, so what would you say to Penn State fans about the type of player and person that they're going to be getting come up 2023? Assuming he signs, obviously, but. Uh, listen, you guys are about to get unbreakable. Here at Homewood Community Sports, we started down. In our community, football's our thing. We don't have to go play basketball or anything, baseball, but football's our thing. He started young. His mindset is unbreakable. He's going to come to Penn State ready to play right now as a freshman. And he's going to be unbreakable and give you all the energy which you might not have experienced before. I'm telling you, get ready for the Tay Mir, Tay Tay Robinson experience. Straight pool, though.